guys, Joy from Joyous Health here, and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you the difference between prebiotics and probiotics, and the important role they have for gut health, because you wanna make sure that you're eating both of them. Now you might be wondering what it means to have a healthy gut. Well, a healthy and a thriving gut. This means our immune system is strong, our digestive system is functioning well, meaning no bloating, no constipation, no diarrhea, allergies are in check, and our gut is producing some vitamins effectively, absorbing nutrients effectively like minerals, and eliminating the bad stuff like toxins and waste products. So detoxification is key for good gut health. So in order to have a healthy gut, we need prebiotics and we need probiotics. So now you're probably wondering just what are prebiotics, because we hear that a lot now. They are a type of non-digestible fiber that passes through the upper part of the GI tract and remains undigested until they arrive at their destination, which is the colon, where they are food for the billions of gut microbes. They just have like a huge feast. So prebiotics are best known as a type of fiber called oligosaccharides. And some of my favorite prebiotic foods are actually right here in front of me. So I don't have any leeks, but have you guys tried my leek squash soup? It's so good. But things like garlic, onions, dandelion greens, jicama, asparagus, even oats, legumes, flax seeds, celery root, apples and pears, and you're gonna like this one, raw cacao. Have you tried my chocolate chia pudding? So good. So many of these foods will have the most prebiotic benefits though when they're actually eaten raw. Because cooking, of course, does break down some of their fibers that provide that prebiotic power. However, they're still gonna contain fiber if you cook them. So I always recommend eating a mix of raw and cooked foods for variety and balance. So I don't want you to get stressed out about, oh my gosh, I must only eat you know, raw oats or raw garlic. Have a balance of both. Now let's talk about probiotics. Now probiotics are the living, the live bacteria found in certain foods or supplements, and they live in the trillions in your body. In fact, they outnumber your human cells by a factor of 10 to one. This means we are actually more bacteria than we're human. What? Is that not crazy? I love telling people this when I do public lectures. I just think it is the funniest thing that we're actually more bacteria than we are human. So they provide so many health benefits from immune health to disease prevention, manufacture of vitamins like vitamin K and detox benefits, which I love. So they also form short chain fatty acids, which are the main nutrient source for the cells lining the colon. They promote a strong gut barrier, and this is super important, guys, because this helps to keep out harmful invaders like viruses and bacteria from getting in. So fermented foods are a great way, I consider fermented foods to be like probiotic foods, and they should be part of your daily diet because they contain beneficial bacteria that thrive on the naturally occurring sugar or fiber within that food, like sauerkraut. So some of my favorite fermented foods, this is my own ferment. This is sauerkraut that has been fermenting for about two and a half weeks. But I also like kimchi and kefir. Um, I particularly like sheep's milk yogurt and goat's milk, better than cow's milk, just easier on my digestive system. And then also pickle, pickled foods. But make sure, I just wanna stress the point about pickled foods, that you wanna make sure that it says on the label, it is unpasteurized and raw. Because if you're, if you're just buying your typical pickles, they're not gonna be providing your body with those probiotic benefits if they are pasteurized. So sauerkraut and kimchi, I don't have any kimchi right now, but they are total superfoods of the fermented food category because they have both the prebiotic and the probiotics. Also, you guys might know that I love putting a protein powder into my smoothies that is also fermented. So you wanna make sure you have the right balance of prebiotics and probiotics, because it's really essential to a healthy and vibrant body. But don't get stressed out at every meal, you know, making sure, do I have enough prebiotics? Do I have enough probiotics? Just have a variety. Okay, so I know you're probably wondering, what about probiotic supplements? Well, that's what I'm gonna talk about right now. So probiotic supplements are awesome. 
but they are not all created equal. You have to keep this in mind. So if you go to your drugstore and you see the discount probiotics on special for 50% off and they're expiring in a week, you need to put those back on the shelf. So you can find probiotics in all sorts of forms, in pills and capsules and liquids, uh, and they contain the live beneficial bacteria, or at least you hope that they contain live beneficial bacteria. And you'll notice that many different brands have different types of bacteria. So my personal preference is to get probiotics that are in capsule form, that are humidity controlled in a blister pack and shelf stable at room temperature. You know, honestly, this just makes my life easier, especially when traveling, which Walker, Vienna, and I do a lot. So this is why I love Advanced Gut Health Probiotics by Genuine Health. So you can see here they're in a blister pack. Now I do keep them in the fridge when I'm at home, but at least I know that they are going to be shelf stable if I'm traveling. Uh, so I don't worry so much. Of course, when I get to the hotel or wherever I'm staying, I pop them in the freezer. Don't put your probiotics in the freezer, slip of the tongue there. Put them in the fridge, but again, they don't have to because Genuine House probiotics, um, they actually, when they are manufactured, they have the 15 billion strain one actually has 45 billion going in. So this ensures at expiry, you have 15 billion for sure. Cause that's a, you know, that's a scare. Well, not really the scary thing, but that's the kind of annoying thing. Um, you don't always know if a brand, if they say that they have 15 billion, does that mean when you've bought it and you've had it at home for a couple months, does it still have 15 billion? But your assurance is, um, I know for sure that genuine health is different and they guarantee that by the time of expiry, you have 15 billion per capsule. So some probiotic supplements are designed to carry the bacteria all the way to your large intestine for better effects. While others probably don't quite make it past your stomach acid because your stomach acid basically kills the bacteria. This is why I love Genuine House new probiotics because it has a time release capsule. So it makes it past the stomach acid. It gets to exactly where it needs to go in your large intestine so it can flourish. Now, as with all supplements, you may actually want to talk to your own healthcare provider who is knowledgeable about probiotics and who can tell you the right dosage to take and which probiotics to take. This is the one that I take and my husband takes and I really, really like it. So I actually recommend in addition to eating fermented foods every day, eating prebiotic foods to also take a probiotic supplement. But again, talk to your practitioner so you feel really well informed that you are getting the right probiotic. So there you have it guys, there's the difference between prebiotics and probiotics. Prebiotics are food for the gut bacteria and the probiotics are the gut bacteria that's living in there. Keep those guys happy because when you do, then the good bacteria will thrive and they starve out the bad bacteria and the yeast and the fungus that can wreak havoc on our health. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Comment below, ask me your questions. I love talking to you guys. So let me know what you wanna hear more about. Subscribe to my channel, and most importantly, I hope you have a joyous day. Bye. Hey guys, hope you love this video. If you wanna see more, then subscribe to my channel. <laughs>